Hi, everybody. Uh, hope you had a great uh, Monday. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 16th. Uh, we're focusing under this theme of intersect, uh, God's uh, presence in, in, in the dark place of our lives, right? Uh, we're, we're, we're focusing on his light, uh, his light both that brings us out of the, the darkness of despair into the light of life with Jesus Christ, right? The, the, uh, the missing piece in our existence that we can't find ourselves, the Spirit of God comes to us and touches our hearts with the truth of Jesus so that we can have life in him. And, and also God's, um, God's wonderful, loving will for our lives that, that the darkness of sin should not have power over us. Uh, and, and, and what he says to us is, let's bring it out in the open. Uh, let's confess it to me. Uh, uh, let's um, and and as we bring it out into the light, it ceases to have power over us. Huh? We we can fight it. We can we can battle it. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna be in the book of James today, uh, and, and I honestly didn't know which verse to read first, but but we're gonna read James a verse from James five, and then we're gonna go back to James one. All right. So so here we go. Here's uh, James five. It says this. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. And so what God is saying here is bring it out into the light. Uh, and, and yeah, do it with me personally, but I give you one another. You are Christians. You are little Christ to each other. Uh, there is power in bringing out our struggles, our sin, the shadows of our failures into the light uh, of, of, of people, of fellow Christians who, who are in this struggle with us. Uh, and it's so amazing. It, it, says, it says here uh, to, to uh, confess your sins, pray for each other so that you may be healed. Healed of what? right? Healed of this power of sin over us. Certainly healed of disease and sickness and so forth, but that's a reflection of this sin that has power over us. We can, we can break free of that. See, we confess our sins to each other. We pray for each other so that we might be healed. Um, and then it tells us how powerful our prayers are in this, in, in this, uh, in this reality, right? Uh, prayer, our prayers are powerful not because of ourselves, but because of God and the promise he ties to prayer. Uh, and, and one of the things, I mentioned this on Sunday, that, that really um, I, I bothers me is, is how few Christians have someone that they can do this with. Uh, so if you have someone, make it a practice. It might be your husband, might be your wife, um, might, might be your mom or dad, huh? uh, might be a close friend. And if you don't have someone, cultivate some relationships here. This might happen in a small group, uh, a life group and so forth as well. Um, but, but try to cultivate uh, and, and, and make, it a, um, make it a priority to cultivate uh, uh, Christian relationships that you can do this with because it's powerful. It's, it's important. Um, the, God doesn't say this. Uh, uh, this is you know, j just to be talk, talking words. Uh, no, no. Uh, we're supposed to bring it out into light, our, our failures, our sin, uh, our, our darknesses, right, it, with other Christians. So they can help us. You know, AA groups and, and, and other groups that, that look at addiction have known this for, for years and years and years, right? There's power in bringing it out in the open with other Christians and then, and then having them come alongside of us and, and battling these things together. So I'm, I'm going to read now just a portion from James, which may reflect uh, why God uh, says to do this, right? It says this, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. So this is saying, hey, um, we so easy for, easily forget. huh? We hear God's word. We hear his word when he, uh, when he shows us our darknesses, our sins, when he convicts us of those things. And yet we so easily forget and we, we, and we stuff them instead of bringing them out in the light. 
but the one who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. So this perfect law that gives freedom, God's, God's law uh, uh, shows us our sin and, and the power, forgiveness that we have in Jesus Christ and the power to battle that sin, right? Uh, but but if we're like the person that looks at it and walks away, that we don't bring it out into the light, we, oh yeah, oh yeah. And, and, what, imp- and what is empowering about confessing our sins to another person or our darkness or our shadows or our struggles, right, is that we bring it out into the open uh, and, and we're, we're kind of held accountable and, and, we, and it empowers us not to walk away from it, not to act if it's not there, not to live in darkness in the shadows, but rather bring it out in the light. Uh, confess it to another person, pray about it, and 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 be uh, um, and have someone that you can walk with in the power of Jesus Christ. Uh, so that's that's the challenge today, and that's the gift that God gives to us in each other. We're called His family, brothers and sisters in Christ. So would you pray with me, um, dear Jesus? Uh, you don't want us to be enslaved uh, to the powers of darkness. Uh, you free us uh, through the forgiveness we have in you, but every day as we live in you, you would empower us to bring um, our struggles, to bring our sin, to bring our failures, to bring our shadows into your light. We do this both personally with you, uh, but also, Lord, you you guide us to do it with other Christians. We pray that um, that, that you would uh, convict us of this, that you would help us um, to begin to do this brand new. And Lord, where we need to build relationships, we pray that you would empower us to do that. Uh, Because Lord, you want us to live in this freedom every day, bringing things out into the light. Uh, and, And we pray that every day we might hear your word and do it. Pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye bye.